wait, Taurus. This is for Taurus. Sun, moon, or rising. Make sure you check out your sun, moon, and rising to get a bigger picture of what's going on. So say you're watching your sun sign and it's not really making a lot of sense. Maybe one or two things only resonated. And then if you go back and you watch your rising or your moon sign, it could make, it could be more clear. Communication, communication we just had. A full moon and it eclipsed Mars on that full moon. It was the last full moon of 2022. And today is December 11th, so we are right on the edge of the 1212 portal energies as well. And then there was something else that happened in there somewhere, but I forget what it is right now. So, you might be zoom zooming like you had a cup of coffee, or you might feel this insatiable need to rest and sit your ass down for a little bit, huh? It's different for everybody because all our, our healing journeys are different. Let's see what you're moving away from in 2022, Taurus. Triumph of Lies. Ooh, let's see what the shadow attributes are as well. Look, I just saw this. King. Crown. I thought king in my head. I didn't say it out loud though. And then I put this card that says king. Excesses feelings of entitlement. Rulership without constraint. Restraint. Enlightened, benevolent leadership, benefiting those in your charge. Benefiting those in your charge is really sticking out. So what else is Taurus moving away from? What are they going to have less of in 2023? Colorless Angel, number 10. So, so far we've got 11 on the floor. Let's get another card for this. I feel like someone could be, yeah, there's some sort of parasite. Could be a person, could be an energy, could be a thinking pattern. Entitlements. Uh, maybe you're going through a past life as well. Uh, tyranny just came to mind. So you might have been a tyrannical. Am I using that word right? Am I saying it right? I know I'm using it right, but I'm saying it right. Tyrannical leader that you were healing from. Sometimes whenever we come over here, we come from royalty or we were well off in our past life. And then we're like mediocre in this life. And we're like, what the fuck happened? Uh, you might feel like you are... Not entitled, but you might feel like you should be further or your life should be a little grander than what it is now. A little more expensive, I guess we should say. Calling the storm parasite. So there's something, and also you're not going to be so quick to avoid things in 2023. You're not going to be quick to avoid triggers or dealing with certain people that could cause triggers. You're not going to be avoiding certain emotions or ideas that you see, sense around people, or even things within yourself. I feel like they wanted the book meaning, but I just rearranged this area and I don't know where the book is. Ah. Colorless Angel. I'm going to pause it so I can look at the book. I'll be right back. Okay, so the sentence here says, for this colorless angel card, it is better not to feel rather than feeling the pain. So, again, we're going back to this not being afraid to sit with things. Um, Katy Perry's, that song, Something About a Dark Horse, may be significant, or you might want to listen to it, or you actually might hear it the next time you turn on your radio or get in the car. A dark horse prances proudly in the background, unnoticed by a man kneeling upon a pond. He wears a crown of mirth, his face expressionless. Behind him, wings of smoke and bones grow or disappear. Apathy is the crowned king of nothingness and the shining queen of whatever. We can be Siegfried, the dragon slaying hero, but not when he slays the dragon, nor when he is. I, know, I can't. This is really small print. So, if you feel the need to read that, go ahead and read it. But I feel like it's just confirming what I was saying a while ago about not being afraid to do certain things or talk about certain things or let yourself feel certain things, take action towards certain things. Let's see where we're going in love here. What's in love for 2023 for this Taurus sign, please, angel spirits? God, source, let's cover all the bases, shall we? Thank you, angels and ancestors and ascended masters as well. Those are the triple A's, huh? 
So what do they have to look forward to and love for 2023? Look, king, man holding coin. Hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Heart chakra healing. This guy is going to hold your heart. There's a contract. Ooh, engagements I sense. Higher levels of commitment. Okay, we've got storm warning, and then I'm going back over here to calling the storm. So, actually, you might endure some severe weather in your area, too. That's what I'm really feeling here. Don't discount anything you're picking up as well, though. But, knowing that, you know, there is there is great love coming for you after this previous hurt as well. This could be something you guys are leaving back behind in 2022, as well as, um, you know, uh, releasing the toxic um people out of your life standing here and no longer no longer standing in their storm no longer taking what they project at you and no longer running yourself ragged and feeling guilty and displeased and shameful wow on the bottom of the deck you have the magician in the mirror balancing things out fire and water you probably have fire and water signs in your chart balance is coming for you in 2023 and also so we're moving right into the door to spirit as well we'll get to you spirit though i actually have a section in this for asking about what your spiritual gifts or spiritual if there's new guides coming in or what okay or your spiritual abilities but can we get a few more on the romance and love a man holding coin though so this person is not going to be one of those that you have to help take care of they're going to hold their own they're used to making their own money and paying their bills and that kind of stuff right you deserve love you are lovable healing okay healing as i say healing i flip this over someone is wearing a false mask in the relationship so for some of you in your love lives maybe you're moving away from you know maybe you'll be moving away from those who just don't seem to be in it to win it. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Whether it's romance or friends or whatever. But look, I'm putting engagement over contract. Yeah, your somebody's life will be ascending to a higher level of commitment. And, you know, actually Spirit's bringing this in too. Whenever we decide to part ways and we're like, oh, we know this isn't for us anymore. We know that we're growing apart from each other. Or, you know, we're just, we're turning into different people. Or you're turning into a different person. Like, that's also a contract. You're going to agree to part ways. It's going to be amicable. Amicable. I don't even know if I use that word, but Spirit gave it to me. So I'm going to, it's probably right, right? Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. As I'm putting this over storm and door to spirit, uh, this person that's going to be coming towards you in 2023, those who are single, single, single right now, okay, you're, you're super single right now, you've been single for a little while, um, there is, like, it, they're going to be, you're going to be completely oblivious, and it might be a few weeks to even a few months after you meet this person, I feel this, like, this could be through friends as well. Your friend, somebody's going to play Cupid here. Spirit's helping to play Cupid as well. But this is divinely guided towards you. And they're not going to be your usual type and expectation. I don't know if I got to that finally or if that's what I was trying to get around. But it's not going to be your usual type and expectation. This person is safe to bring. You're going to want to let your kids meet this person as well. super thirsty all of a sudden all right so for those in union right now it's going to be ascending to a higher level of commitment and then for those who are single pringles you okay you've been doing this work right here on loving yourself shutting certain things healing from past situations so you're being open you're opening yourself up to greater love that's being guided lid guided towards you divinely anyways whoa i just felt because that's what you've been working on. Okay, thank you, Spirit, for that confirmation. There's another card here. Make a plan. Accepting disappointments gracefully. Speak up. If you're seeing this, if you're sensing or feeling this, don't let it over, don't let yourself brush it off either, okay? 
speak up. Again, speak up. Be open to love. Okay. Moving to the finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. That's usually the number one thing that married and together couples fight about if you're sharing means of sources, resources, and whatnot, right? Uh, the person coming towards you also, for those who are single right now, yes, this is your soulmate. The people you're in union with, those who are in union, they're your soulmate. <clears throat> and then here I've got this unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep the relationship going. So somebody here, I feel like this is going to be like someone viewing this in like the year 2025. Whoa. Okay. That you're going to be... Oof, I can't wait for you to comment below for me whenever that happens, but you're going to be, it's like, opening, like, oh, hey, yeah, it's amicable, you know what I mean? So, let's go back on to the finances and job front, money, love, we might, well, we just got done with love, didn't we? Woo! Okay. What are the finances and career for Taurus in 2023? 11, 11 on the timer as I glance over at it. Can you give us some cards for love? I keep wanting to say love. Why? Why, why, why? Love your money. Love your career. Be open to others' points of view. Change is on the horizon, considering some venture. You might be changing jobs. You might... You might be fully vested in a job right now, but I tell you right now, there's going to be a creative endeavor through your dreams or ideas, and you're gonna, it's going to be totally changed for you, okay? You're going to be signing new contracts. Look, we've got contract here, too. So, for some, also a home, a home agreement, a rental agreement came out, mortgage, lots of job opportunities out there. So, they're not wanting to specify where your uh, career is going precisely or what's coming towards you um, financially as well. Uh, Tauruses, I guess you guys are being guided to just trust and be open to feeling like it's going to be a really good year. It's going to be better than last year, this last year. Hold on tight because there's lots of opportunities out there. Yeah, all will be well. All will be well in the year 2023 for you. All right, so we're gonna get some messages from our sponsors, Spirit. I meant Spirit, I said sponsors. All right, what messages does Spirit have for Taurus for 2023? Ooh, you're gonna have a lot of support in 2023. Realizing that people come into your life for a reason and then they leave also for a reason or you move away from certain people, okay? New passions coming in inspired passion yeah can we get another card for this you are supported as you follow this divinely guided passion okay keeping the hope keeping the faith trusting that all will be well you're going to receive a lot of signs from the divine and the other side as well synchronicities from the <coughs> universe you might start seeing doves after this or the scales or even books strength you have enough strength. You're gathering it over this. There's a past on father who's helping you as well, okay? Helping you through a situation of vulnerability and helping you find your center, okay? Um, there's You've done a lot of soft self-sabotage because you've listened to other people's and you've believed what they said about you or you believed and went and were, was doing what they thought you should do with your life because you trusted these people, right? But there's this new sense of getting grounded and breathing through the tension because all of this preconceived conditioning instilled some sort of, it's trauma, it's basically trauma, right? And it instilled some sort of anxiety within your heart center and your solar plexus, okay? And your team is gonna be giving you a lot of signs to know that you are supported. If you can make it into next year, okay? They're asking to your, your Your mission is not done yet. Your sole purpose has not been fulfilled. So they are asking to just keep hanging on and keep keep trusting and keep trying to move forward, okay? Don't try to leave. Don't try to leave the earth anytime soon, okay? They want you to know that you not, are not alone. And each time you light a candle it, in lieu of, it's with protection, okay? And support. <clears throat> and seek 
the light within yourself seek solitude if you need to this is going in a different turn yeah you'll be noticing the signs from heaven they'll be sending you messages and just ask okay if you need help don't be afraid to reach out to them for help and assistance and be proud of yourself they're really proud of you too you just got to keep going okay all right Ooh, there's a key over there. I'm slowly melting my microphone. Oops. <laughs> Crikey. Okay. Sorry if you heard that. I was just rubbing that thing. What are you helping them surrender? <coughs> Excuse me again. What are you helping them surrender, spirit, please? Surrendering. Taurus is surrendering. Take that one. Let's get one more because I like. I like a lot of cards. Thank you. Surrendering to divine timing. If you'd like to read that, you're more than welcome to. <clears throat> but you're surrendering to the fear of change. You're embracing this next year. You know it's going to be full of new, different stuff. So you're finally. You have been grounding. I feel Taurus. If you haven't been actively, consciously doing it, your higher self has been guiding you and doing the, what they can do to help you and to stay grounded in the here and now moment. But getting out into nature, surrendering to what is. <clears throat> you guys, like, I mean, some of you guys might even be traveling to go horseback riding or something. Wow, that's, that's pretty cool. Surrendering to love and support. And knowing, being open to receiving the love and the treasures that your spirit team and ancestors and past on level want to send to you, okay? Yeah, okay, so I'm not paying attention to this, but more of the backpack with the bridge and everything, and then the horseback riding, the nature card, you guys are going to be really drawn to do a lot of outdoor activities, or you're going to get an opportunity to, like, go on trips to, that has something to do with outdoor activities. Like, this summer, this coming summer, is going to be so, so fun for you guys. I can feel it. Ooh! Take me with you. <laughs> RVing, okay? Yeah, we've got a change in the wind. I like to keep going sometimes. Zebras. Peace is yours in 2023, Taurus. The chance to be happy, happy, happy. This is all I have for you. I hope it helped. I hope it resonated. If you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button and share it if you feel you must. Um, and if it did resonate, if you want to contact me below or if you want a more in-depth personal read, or you would like for me to connect with your past on loved ones. I'm still honing my skills at that, but <clears throat> I'd love the practice if you want to contact me below. Love and light.